Hi, and welcome back to the second part of this series on building web quests called WebQuest 101. If you viewed the last video, you'll remember that you spent some time looking at web quests that were already built to see how they're put together and what makes them a web quest. That was on webquest.org, and there's a free searching tool there if you're ever looking for more. What you should have noticed as you were looking through the web quests is that web quests are pretty hot. Yeah, they require higher order thinking skills on the part of the students and actually on your part as you go about designing the web quest. How do you go about designing a web quest then? What's the best first step? I recommend starting with the task. Figure out what you're going to have students do. Will they make a book? Will they create a museum exhibit? Will they hold a debate? Or maybe they'll just perform some complex analysis to make a decision. Not sure what you want your own students to do? That's okay. Spend some time on the WebQuest site looking at these design patterns to figure out exactly what task you want your own students to do. Once you've determined the task, it'll be much easier to figure out what content area and grade level you want your web quest to be made for. Once you finish that, you're ready to go to Quest Garden, the place where great web quests grow. You'll register for a 30-day free trial, and using this online format, meaning multi-platform, either PC or Mac, you'll build your web quest online. You'll know you're done because you'll make it to the Quest Garden member homepage. Once you've done that, spend some time examining the Create a New Web Quest option. See what you can do with your web quest. And then, come back for Part 3 of WebQuest 101. Good luck!